Hey what's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building a British steam locomotive. So this is the LNER Class 04, and it was acquired by the London and North Eastern Railway, and that's the new name, Class 04, but before it's also known as uh, the 8K Class, which is from the Great Central Railway. So yeah, this build was commissioned by Scotland Productions, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And yeah, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do... Let's go all right here above the tracks uh, two blocks above the tracks we replace a red concrete add pistons to each side of it and another red concrete block on the side of that then we're gonna take out a black wool block and let's go right here let's add a section of 17 blocks so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 all right, then we're gonna add one block to the side of the end, like that. And let's add another row in front of there. And then we're gonna add one in the middle after it. And we're gonna add another section, which is gonna be 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Actually, the last block we're gonna use red concrete because it is the back. And let's add the pistons on the side of that. And let's take out a lever, put that in the middle, pull it down, and go to the front and do the same thing. All right, so next let's add some more uh, black wool blocks. Uh, let's add three more blocks to each side. Then uh, we're gonna go down below, let's add the front leading wheel, so we'd have two hoppers for that. And then we're going to also take uh, another brick slab, just add it one above this area, and then two black wool blocks. Like this. And let's start to add these driving wheels. So there's going to be four of them on each side, so they're going to be the Oreo ones. So we're going to have one right here, right after the cylinder in the front. So just make like a 2x2 two two with the nether brick stairs in a circle shape and there will be a block of space between uh, each of the wheels so try to make four of them on each side. So that's our second one, third one, and you know what I'm gonna just go do the top parts first then I can work on the bottom. Go to the other side, do the same thing. <laughs> I need more space between that area. And it's gonna take us a while, like just making all these wheels. It's the most time consuming part or whatever because to place each of the stairs block you need to stand in like a perfect position every time and there's so many wheels so yeah this should be the last one and then it'll be easier all right so now we're gonna add a ladder uh, right here on the side so we're gonna take now the brick stairs have it upside down like that, and we're gonna make it a ladder by adding the bottom rung, which is another brick slab right underneath. And that's one of them. And also we're gonna take some more uh, black wool, skip this block here, and then make the rest of it uh, three blocks wide. So just adding one to the sides of it. And then we can add uh, another ladder right here with the nether brick that another one on the other side and another one in the back right next to these uh, pistons all right so then we're gonna have some more wheels in the back so we're gonna take out um, this hoppers and two hoppers for each wheel there will be three axles so start off right here 
one, skip block, and then two, skip block, three. And just pretty much do the same thing here. Then in between these blocks, uh, we're gonna place uh, another brick uh, slab in between. And we're also gonna connect the uh, wheels together with a branch like this with the nether brick slabs. So it goes from the middle of the first wheel to the middle of the back wheel. It kind of looks like that. And we're going to have uh, these upside down nether brick stairs. And I'm going to try to make it face each other. And I'm going to make them face opposite of each other. And we're going to have that above each of the pair of wheels like this and same thing on the other side and once we are done with that we're going to take out another brick slab and add it in the rest of these gaps alright so then we're going to take out um, another brick fence just add that in the middle of the back and then we're going to take out some more another brick slab and let's make a C shape right here right above where the pistons are like a C shape and then this section so we're going to have to make this cross shape so let's add one uh, black wall in the center and above that let's add three more one three and then we're going to make this a plus sign like this and then we're going to make uh, this plus sign so that it is nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine and just uh, extend the rest of it all the way back to match Then we're going to take uh, another brick stairs, just add it on the sides and the corners. And on the bottom level as well. And actually, I think I kind of messed up on this part a little bit, so we need to cut down. So actually in the front, uh, it's only the first two blocks, so let me skip these two and the rest of the black wall actually doesn't appear so it does look like this with a hollow space and we also will want to have let's add a chimney on top so we're going to skip a block here add a black wall and then skip three blocks and another black wall for like the dome alright so in the front there will be a minecraft sign in the middle below it we'll add a lever and that could point up and above the sign we're going to add the light which is a skeleton skull alright so after we do that we're going to make this section it is four blocks long so we're going to add uh, this part will be four blocks long with the black wool and we're going to try to make it like a box shape as opposed to that cylinder this yeah it's really boxy and we also want to make it go actually no underneath it is just another brick uh, stairs just facing in like this right below the box and it's hard to see from here but I think the middle part Let's add black wool block there. And there will be this thing that sort of connects, so hmm. I wonder if we should make it right now. Yeah, let's go for it. So we're gonna add one nether brick slab here and then nether brick stairs facing the front like that. And the rest of it is just nether brick slabs like this going across. Alright, so then we're going to take another brick slab. Let's add two blocks right after the cylinder. 
going slightly upwards like this and then skip a block and add it till we reach the end of this uh, box right there so skip a block right there and just fill in the rest like so let's do the same thing on the other side so start off with two and then have a gap of space and have it go all the way to the back all right so then we're going to take out some uh, black wool at three blocks right here cab and uh, yeah we can add a wall right here as well like perimeter we're going to take smooth sandstone blocks just add two blocks right there and around let's add black wool front and then for this part let's add a two by two on the sides and also fill in the front is again and let's extend this area pops out by one in the middle so add these three then we're going to take out another brick slab and add it on the sides three blocks long and take another brick stairs add it on the bottom like that and also on top let's add a two by three of another brick slabs like this and cover it up with black carpet. Alright, so let's add the... <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a whistle or not. I think it is. But we're going to take a spruce fence gate. Just add two of them on top of this box. And open them up on whatever side you want. So then we're going to add uh, this. This is actually supposed to be like a bar that goes across the side. So let's start off right here. Just put a stone button and put it every other block so it's spaced evenly. Do the same thing on the other side. And then what else can we add? So let's add the side rods I guess. So let's take out another brick slab. And go right after the first wheel and we're going to go try to work in the middle, just add another brick slab right there, and then two more another brick slabs on top. So it sort of looks like that. And then we're going to add, uh, yeah, let's do the same thing on this side as well. And then we're going to add uh, this double stone brick slab right here in the front corner of the first wheel, and then behind it and upside down a stone brick stairs like that and below that a stone brick slab like that so again a double stone brick slab upside down stairs and then the slab underneath that area so then let's connect the slabs at the bottom like this just take stone brick slab go all the way across to the middle of the back wheel like that and that's going to be pretty much it for our side rods so after you do that let's add this thing that goes across and it's actually only on this side that it appears so let's put it you know what let's go off to uh, the second to last wheel so right here and then above that let's add two another brick slab and then go up by a diagonal add another two and diagonal again add by one so that's only going to be on this side. The other side doesn't have it. And another thing we're going to add. Some more uh, another brick slab. We're going to add another layer right here. So just go across again. All the side sort of covers up the top layer of the wheel as well. So that's good. Do the same thing on this side. like that and let's take out a uh, black carpet and cover up these parts that are exposed we don't want that showing all these different colors like that all right so hmm after we do that I guess we can add that banner right there so to make it we're going to take out a gray banner 
Let's add an ink sac around it. Then we're going to take that banner, add a 2 by 3 insect on the bottom half of it, and that's how we get our banner. So we're going to place that in front of the cab on both sides for our little window. And then uh, let's actually work on the tender. So let's take out black carpet, cover up these two on each side. Then we're going to make a wall. It's going to be 5 by 3 of black wall. So three blocks tall, five blocks wide. And then let's add a layer on the sides with black wall. And then in this part, yeah, we're going to go up by one. So fill in this area. And also for the cab, let's fill in the floor as well. So it looks like this. And let's also add, um, what is this, four? Yeah, four black wool blocks here on the front of it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to have like this symbol. So just take smooth sandstone block and red concrete. And that's it for our symbol. And they'll be aligned with the middle wheel. The rest is black wool. This and in the front, we're going to add uh, stairs with another brick. So just add the stairs, then after it, uh, black wool all the way to the back. And let's add three right here. Let's take a stone pressure plate, put that in the middle, and on the sides, let's place a slab of nether brick. Then that middle section is four blocks long, a black wall. In front of that is nether brick uh, slab again. And let's add this wall. You know, you don't want that coal spilling, so just add black wall blocks right here, making a little wall. And then we'll have another wall right here in the back. And then we're going to take out our coal blocks, fill in this mill section in. And the way I did it, I made it look like this. And then I added a second layer down below here. So it looks like a pile. All right, so it looks like we're done with this locomotive. So yeah, that's how you make the LNER Class 04. And thanks again to Scotland Productions for commissioning this build. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.